Lush trees, pure water, rich grass, wild animals. Where did it all go? Hi, Nat Geo. I'm Stalin Espinal, the school programs manager at NYCH2O, a nonprofit organization whose focus is on outdoor water ecology and engineering education for Title I schools throughout New York City. In what is an urban ecosystem, the art of observations, students were asked to make a series of observations, sketches, and reflection exercises about the urban environment and to observe those human and natural world connections. Um, and I thought that was pretty interesting because of the texture of it and I also love the ivy leaves oh, even though it's like invasive and it kind of messes up the trees but um, I also thought it was interesting like as sad as it is like the little microplastics in the floor kind of tell a different story of like everybody who has been here like there was like a button on the floor and that could just been from like somebody just walking but it's kind of interesting like oh what, like, what were they wearing like they were like what were they doing like just enjoying their lives or like maybe talking to somebody like thinking about somebody the Nat Geo learning framework I chose to incorporate into my activity was curiosity. You seek to learn more about themselves, others around them, the environment, and the world beyond their own experiences. I feel like this kind of like shows like there's another part to the city that like even though it could be covered up and like many people don't really think of it when they think of New York City. I don't know it just shows like a different side to the city which is like beautiful and like very interesting like full of nature today i feel like really opened my mind to like paying more attention to like the details like in nature because like so when you showed us like the birch tree before i kind of like before i would just like see like a tree okay but like after you showed like the like the details of like the horizontal stripes and like the like like more pale yeah. than others like and like the tree from before when like had like the like the spots and stuff it like really like opened my mind more to like paying more attention to the details i provided students with historical ecological and geological narrative but allowed space for them to explore the urban ecosystem on their own throughout our walk i do a little bit of everything so my summary is that, like um I learned a lot about like invasive species and how they, you know, change and alter like different trees and already existing um, plantation vegetation stuff like that here. And also, I found it very interesting how like uh, I forgot the name um, this tree. It was like the big one. The, the honey locust. Yeah, the, the honey, honey locust. locust yeah. Tree. How like how long it's lived? You know, it's just it's just really interesting to me how like adaptations and stuff like that happen throughout the years and how like you know I drew here the basin. I like this. It's something like this is man-made like you know but it still lives and creates habitation for like a lot of animals yeah the impact of students slowing down to absorb their surrounding in earnest and with curiosity makes me want to develop this trip further and expand student experiences into the successional forests that are part of our unique urban environment within the Richwood Reservoir listening to the students share their observations through writing and sketches left me with hope that the next generation of environmental stewards would be just as curious and as passionate for these places as I am. Lush trees, pure water, rich grass, wild animals. Where did it all go? I stare at the skeleton of the area I once knew, a shell of the land it was before. It makes you stop and think, how did we all come to this? Before New York was coated in its armor of steel and stone and embellished with concrete streets, it was green, natural, wild, free. This armor is choking the city, masking the beautiful region it once was, trees replaced with iron, dirt replaced with tar. I think of the time before all this armor, the naked and the natural, and hope that the streets they pave in the future be ones of concern, conservation, and coexistence. Good. I think that's the one. Okay. <laughs>